Okay, in this lesson we're going to now take a look at how to play the lead part or the melody part for when the saints go marching in. We've learned how to play the rhythm, hopefully by now, and now I'm going to show you how to play the lead to that. Now, um, I, I think it's important to point out that even though you're going to be learning to play the lead, I'm not going to go into the explanation as to how and why these notes work with these chords. So we're not going to get into to, to scales, basically. That, that comes at a future lesson that's part of this course. Um, but at this point, we're still kind of learning technique. We, we haven't delved into the theory yet so much. Uh, so, but that's coming. So I, so I think it's important and a little bit fun, too, to learn how to play the lead for this. So you'll be able to play the rhythm and the lead. And just as we had with the uh, with the, the rhythm part, I have there's jam tracks that accompany this as well, and tablature of course. Um, the the jam tracks are uh, you can see it up on the on your screen now. That's the one you're going to want to look for. That's missing the lead part. So it'll have the bass, the drums, and the rhythm. And it's missing the lead, and that's your job to fill that in. So let me walk through the different notes really quickly, so you can uh, you can see uh, what those are. Um, you're going to start with the the G note here, which is the third string. That's your first note, and the second note is a B, which is the second string. So your first two notes, you haven't had to push anything. Those are two open notes. Then we then we play the the first fret second string, which is a C note. And then the the fourth note is the uh, the D which is the second string, third fret. Now, notice the fingers that I'm using. When I push down on the first fret, uh, I'm using my first finger, and when I push down on the third fret, I was using my third finger. That's an important, that's kind of a rule of thumb when you're playing a lead part, is to kind of line your fingers up over the frets that you're playing. Now, it doesn't always work out that way, but try and, it's a, it, try and do it as, as much as possible. So in other words, I didn't play it like this. Or, and the reason I'm doing that, you know, first finger over first fret, third finger over third fret, is my hand is moving very little. And that's what you want. Remember, you're always trying to simplify this. You don't want to be jumping your hand around uh, any more than uh, is necessary. So, uh, so that's the first part. And the nice thing is you repeat that three times. the open B, back to the open G, back to the open B, then we're going to play the second fret third string, which is an A. So we have now we're going to play the B again, the A again, and the open G. Back to the open B, back to the third fret, second string, back to the uh, first fret, second string. Then we're going to do open B, C, D, open B, open G. A, open G. So here it is all together. can see you're on, there's only a few notes in that you're you're repeating a lot of the notes so that's um, that's just that's part of the reason I wanted to use this one as an illustration it's a very simple melody but a very uh, uh, familiar one another thing to point out is if you'll notice I'm only using downstrokes at this point we, we haven't uh, got into alternate picking yet which is back and forth or up and down so um, I think as we're playing, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that point, but let's try and just keep it to downstrokes at this point. Um, 
one thing to uh, point out is in, a, in these future lessons, like I mentioned, we're going to get into scales, and so you'll understand why these notes are working with, with these chords, uh, because it's part of a major scale. So we're going to cover the, the major scale, the minor scale, and the blues scale. And with those three scales, you can play just about anything. You can play along with, with, uh, with just about any kind of music, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. And so I wanted to show you, uh, you can actually take a melody that's kind of boring like when the Saints, and you don't have to play it straight. When you learn these scales, you'll be able to do something like... That kind of stuff. You'll be able to jazz it up a little bit. Now, I'm not saying that you'll be able to do that quickly. I mean, that does take work, and you have to kind of listen to a lot of different artists and see how they approach scales and whatnot. But we are going to cover the basics, so you will have the tools to be able to do that kind of stuff uh, through this, this beginner course. Um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this now with the uh, music. Again, look on your screen. This is the track that we're going to be playing along with. It's, the, it's missing the lead part. So here we go. Oh, one thing to point out with this, when you start this, you know, I, there's, there's eight click tracks at the beginning. So there's one, two, that sets the tempo, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's where you're actually going to start playing. The band hasn't, hasn't started yet, but you're going to start. You're going to get those three notes in before the band starts. You'll see what I mean. Right here. repeats on and on uh, and it goes through for I don't know two and a half minutes or so so you can you can keep practicing it and as we did with the uh, as I've done with all of these uh, there's, there's a slower tempo version of this as well so if this is too fast for you in the beginning be sure to try the slower tempo it's about half that speed so it should be something that you can keep up with make sure you download the tablature for this make sure you download the jam tracks and have fun with it when the Saints go marching in <laughs> 